another music and psychology series. This is a song I uh, wrote probably about 10 years ago. I wrote, recorded it and wrote it inside an orchard, so the name of the song is In the Orchard, but um, uh, I think the new, new name is uh, You Will Be Missed. But, um, yeah. you're not so far behind, right? And if we're looking at the external world for our morality, for our idea of morality, or for the idea of, of what we should be, then we're not looking into our hearts. And um, if we're like comparing ourselves to others, we feel far behind. But if you're listening to your heart and into truth, then you get something much greater, and then you know how far ahead you are. And you gotta paint your picture any way you like. Paint your picture any way you like. So you don't paint your picture the way you like. Somebody's probably painting a picture for you. Right? You know, people that choose this path of painting their own picture rather than needing to be a part of other people's pictures are often pathologized, right? And so, uh, the uh, first verse, you know, um, talks about, you know, uh, uh, like the, pretty much like that you have to listen to your conscience, right? And, and it's going to lead you to places and, and like even, it's even going to show you where time doesn't even exist, right? And these are, these are the esoteric, what that means is like the esoteric stuff that people won't understand, right? But, but when you start to understand it, it gives you, a, a, you rise up to a higher level that you could never have gone to without taking those steps, you know, to listen to your internal uh, instead of listening to your external, right? This world that uses its external to create their morality and you watch them just abuse each other you wonder, you know, and these are the same people that will pathologize somebody that takes these different paths to try to avoid um, hurting as many people as possible, right? And the f in serious situation is, is people think that um, telling somebody the truth and like, and, in a, and if the truth is going to hurt the person, then, then that's hurting the person, right? But sometimes when you say something that needs to be said, it might hurt them for the moment but then you're sending them on a, a better path once they finally, some water hits to that seed you planted, right? And it may not hit for a while, but in time that, that will go, right? 
and like the uh, the other thing about the song too is that uh, you, <clears throat> if you know that you have a vision, right, and people are pushing hard against it, you have to you have to like cut out those people because that and they're classically the the people that are in trying to dominate be in a dominance hierarchy or some kind of hierarchy with you and that's why they 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 can push against you when you're doing good because it 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 puts them lower down right so when you trust your heart you will find that you're not so far behind right i talk to people in the streets that have no homes and uh they're listening to their hearts and i trust them more than these self-centered and um, separatist, uh, egotistical people. They're all so stuck up to the fact that they got a job and a house and all this stuff. They don't want to listen to anybody, right? And then they're just like, I'm doing exactly what the machine told me, right? Well, you know, I, I think there's a happy medium before between like having no property and uh, and selling your soul to have the world, right? So, um, and... Uh, the, the song is also is like, it says, these signs will lead on, right? So when you're on a path of intuition and you're following like a voice that's showing you a path and the path has been showing you amazing things for years, right? You have to ignore the critical voices unless they're constructive and, and continue on your path because these signs will lead on and help you write one big song. Remember, nothing you do is wrong. Be like, what do you mean nothing you do is wrong? Well, can we really go back in time and be like, I wish somebody ki killed Hitler because we don't know what would have happened if that didn't happen. So everything happens for a reason, right? And even like we can r forgive ourselves as long as we are, are willing to, to uh, for true, like tr for true forgiveness means we have to live through our forgiveness. So we don't have to live through all the dark things that we've done in the past. We can move on from them but remember them and show and know we'll never do them again right so nothing we did in the past was wrong because it got us to this point here which gives us the knowledge we had today and those that did nothing dark are likely um gonna do something dark if the if the environment pushes too hard on them right so this is about people that have done those dark things or or imagine doing those dark things and know they could do those things that this is an important thing so um, paint your picture any way you like don't don't allow this pressure upon you of this pathological egotistical society to follow their path for you because nature's path is the one that lines up with your heart right why are so many people depressed and anxious and, and dealing with all these issues right now? Well, everyone's living for their ex the, in the external world and they're not bringing peace to their internal. So we have to balance the internal with our external. You can't sit in meditation all day long. However, if you are not in contemplational, meditational, or some kind of practice to keep yourself at check, you're likely doing more harm to the world by the end of your life than good so yeah sometimes those that hurt are actually doing good right sometimes those that are putting on compassion are actually doing bad if you are liked by everyone you likely do not know much about yourself if you are your goal is to be liked by everyone and that's what you're practicing you are slowly losing your soul much love